The next app we're going to check out is FibriCheck. And like Cardia, this is the device primarily meant for detecting AF. When it's been checked in research trials, it's been found to have a sensitivity of 95% and a specificity of 98% for detecting AF. And when you compare it to a patch-based ECG trace, the two are almost indistinguishable. What makes this one different, though, in a big way from traditional ECG, is it uses photoplethysmography. I had to get that right. Photoplethysmography, which is basically a similar technology to oxygen saturation probe. This is what the app looks like from the patient's side. And simply you press the heart, and what it will direct you to do is to place your finger over the camera lens of your phone. It'll ask you to pop the phone down on a hard surface. And once you've done that, as you can see, it starts measuring your, uh, your heart rhythm. It takes 60 seconds to measure your heart rhythm. And after that, it tells you whether it looks regular, whether the signal is strong enough, and also what your heart rate is. This is a previous reading that I, that I did before. And you can see there, it tells you both the heart rate and the regularity of it as well. This isn't free either, unfortunately. FibriCheck does a subscription-based model that costs $3.99 per month or £10 per month for the premium model. And what the premium allows you to do is to share the results in live, in real time, with a physician. And this is where things get quite interesting with FibriCheck. Not only do you have the phone app for the patient, but there is also a dashboard for the clinician. This dashboard shows you a number of different things, including you can see all of your patients that are using FibriCheck and all of their readings, as well as what symptoms they were feeling at the time, uh, what they were doing when they took the measurement. But what this also does when you click on each reading, it gives you a much more detailed breakdown of the results. It shows you the wave-to-wave -wave differences in signal, which basically reflects beat strength, beat to beat. It also shows you the rate between each, or, or the time between each R wave in the trace. And what that gives you an idea of is what is the variability of the heart rate, which would be useful for detecting things like AF. And then finally, it also gives you a heart rhythm fingerprint, which measures the beat to beat variability on a, gra on a graph. And very quickly, you can see whether they're clustered together in a, in a single circle or whether it's more of an ovoid, more of a dispersed picture, suggesting a lot more variability in the trace. On the whole, I think this is, this is really handy for patients, certainly. Compared to Cardia, there's no device that they also have to purchase. All they need is a phone. I did find it a little tricky though, if I'm truthfully honest, in that it, it isn't compliant with a lot of devices. It doesn't seem to work on tablets at all, it only seems to work on some smartphones. So that could be a little bit of a barrier. The other thing is from the physician's perspective, I thought that dashboard was quite cluttered. Difficult to navigate, not as clear as visualizing a single trace would be. Uh, and also the help guides that went along with it, I didn't think were that helpful. So on the whole, again, I guess fits a similar niche to Cardia in that useful for ambulatory monitoring, useful for patients suffering with intermittent palpitations and are worried. And I guess the advantage it has is there's no additional medical device that needs purchasing. They just need a phone. Whether you also decide to use the dashboard, though, as a GP, that's a decision for you to make. But I think I'd find it a little too complex and cluttered to use at the moment.